So what is it about the total solar eclipse that scientists find so exciting and what do they want to learn? The chair of the physics department at St. Michael's College has some insight into that tonight. Fox 44's Mike Hoey joins us live in the studio after speaking with him. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lauren. He's an astrophysicist by training and a physics professor at St. Mike's. He also says we won't even need to wait all the way until Monday for something unique to occur in the sky. Alan Brizard wants to call attention to what the total solar eclipse will do to create a sense of community among Vermonters and visitors. Nobody looking at their phones or, or tablets or whatever, just observing natural phenomena at uh, one of its rarest form. Speaking of observing, this particular eclipse is expected to be the most widely observed natural phenomenon in recorded human history. It'll beat out the 2017 eclipse by a significant margin in that regard. The path of 2017 went from the northwest to the essentially southeast and crossing a region of the U.S. with a lower population density. This time around, more than 30 million people live within the path of totality in the U.S. alone. That also doesn't include visitors from outside the path. It's starting in Texas and it's crossing uh, and it's going all the way to Maine and, and then leaving uh, Newfoundland uh, in, in Canada, crossing one of the largest uh, population density in the U.S. One of the aspects of the eclipse Professor Brizard is most excited about will actually take place not on Monday afternoon, but on Sunday night. The moon will be at perigee, namely it will be at, the, uh, near its, at its closest distance to Earth, and therefore its size in the sky will be the largest. If it were a full moon, it, will, it would be called a supermoon. Uh, but of course it will be a new moon and therefore not be visible. Now, Professor Brizard will be outside the St. Mike's Library by 2 p.m. Monday to view the eclipse. And you'll well recall, Lauren, the sky over the Burlington area is going dark at 326 that afternoon for a little more than three minutes. Live in the studio tonight, Mike Coey, Fox 44 News. And we will not need our glasses during totality so we can watch it with the naked eye then. Mike, appreciate it. Thank you. Vermont's senior senator,